Um, I was injured multiple times um, throughout my time as an Army diver, um, stateside and on the battlefield. I was electrocuted. I was also stung by a poisonous fish, and I was also had crush injuries to my lower legs. And when I was medevaced out, I, I could not walk very at all. When he was medevaced home from Iraq, he went through 10 years of limb salvage from his knee down to his ankle. Um, and then November 2012, they, the doctors at Walter Reed decided he needed to have his legs amputated. A couple months after him being home from his initial amputations, I said, we've got to do something. I've got to find at least a one level apartment that I can get him into. Um, in our area, there's not a whole lot of accessible apartments, but I did find one at least with um, wider doorways so he could get his wheelchair through. Um, and I actually found an apartment where um, the toilet and the bathtub were separated um, so he could squeeze his wheelchair in between the two of them and transfer into the bathtub that way. The only caveat to that is I'm larger than a normal man, so I end up crawling uh, wherever I can and you know on the hard floors and everywhere else trying to crawl in crawl out. If he's in his wheelchair uh, we are not able to coexist in the kitchen together. His if wheelchair. I'm in there there's pretty much no one else can be in the kitchen with me and I enjoy cooking that's what I love doing and um, being able to do that you know with her has been something that we can't do. Dinner time he he wasn't able to come to the table or get up and eat dinner with us. He was basically, someone had to go sit on the couch and eat with him. And it was just, um, for what our family had been through already, it felt like it was just pushing us even further apart. The opportunities that I'm gonna have in, in the new house are, uh, for me, it's really unbelievable to see how it's gonna open up the entire house to me. And also be able to do what I love, which is cook for everybody and invite a lot of people over and cook for them. You know, having the safety when I go to the bathroom or when I need to take a shower or bath, you know, and have that, the security to know that I have the things in place that make it safe for me to do what I need to do now and into the future, you know, as I, as I get older. With our daughter, she loves to read at night and now he'll be able to get into our room and read with her and interact with the boys and their friends and I think it's going to make a huge difference for him for me to not have to worry about having to think about what creative way do I have to come up with to interact with the children and to move throughout the house. Or just the fact if he's not capable of wearing his legs one day that he can still get to where he wants to go with like he said without having to crawl or drag himself down the hallway. I think this organization is amazing. It's extraordinary that there are people out there in our country that are willing to give someone a home and a new life. It takes off a huge burden off my shoulders and I can you know, concentrate on volunteering and helping others uh, learn how to scuba dive and, and to enjoy being out in the ocean like I do. I'm just extremely honored that, you know, that our country has moved in this direction to understand the sacrifices that others have you know, taken on themselves with no expectation of any return and then have SEPA outpouring like this uh, to help move through the rest of their lives with the injuries that they have. <laughs>